thought those uh, tent people lived there. Now they don't live there anymore. I don't think anyone was complaining about them. They did their crack in the tent, not in the doorway. Look, it's moving day for them. I would hate to be cleaning and have to stand around. I hate it standing around. But they gotta stand around. Look, one, two, three, four, five, five big people out there. And two cops protecting them. Standing around. That's the worst job for me, is standing around. I fucking hate it. Got a lot of one legged people here. A lot of uh, cellulitis, I think, has taken out a lot of freaking legs down here. And young people's legs. And now I don't know where they've gone. They've disappeared. So either they went to the hospital to get their legs cut off or they died. They didn't get moved out of this shitty neighborhood. If I can't get moved out of this shitty neighborhood, you know, these. Uh, poor young people that are on drugs and all of the pain's really horrible and they're going to have to be on hydromorphine when they get on that kind of drug level or that kind of pain with cellulitis so you got to remember the medical people have made literally thousands and thousands and thousands of drug addicts and they uh our psychiatric teams are so pathetic, generally, they make another thousands and thousands and thousands. Actually, our medical system is a joke. I know the generation before me always said, stay out of the hospital and you'll live longer. We know that's right now with this pandemic. How many of you lost people and don't even know that your people were uh, given end-of-life drugs and not even tried to be saved? Well, we're not going to try and save this 82-year-old. Now we got a shortage in the world of end-of-life drugs. As you can see, this has been a big shit show through the whole thing. There's never been any uh, self, you know, space in between people. I even got a strike for saying in downtown side does it self-distance, which it doesn't. Just pointing that out gave me a strike on YouTube before I got my channel taken down. I've been pretty good on this one. Don't talk about the communist virus in North America or any of the high-income countries for that matter of fact.